Your canvases are very familiar with this competition because they have all been tattooed on past seasons of Ink Master. Wow. God damn. That sucks. That means they know exactly what they want and what they don't want. That's crazy, man. Let's bring out the canvases. For your very first challenge in this competition, you tattooed convention style to earn your shop. That day was intense, and every artist was under pressure. Unfortunately, that meant that some of the canvases left with jacked tattoos. Today, it's up to you to cover the worst of them. You'll be judged on both your tattoos to determine whether you're headed to the finale or headed home. The most frequently asked question I get is what happens to those poor people that get those jacked up tattoos? Well, the final four, the best guys in the building, are gonna fix those people. We've never had it be this close. This is a real deal. This last tattoo right here, this is it. This is balls to the wall tattoo, and it needs to be badass. Let's meet your canvases. This is Lance, who was tattooed by Gentle J. Next is Nikki, who was tattooed by King Ruck. This is Siad, who was tattooed by Melissa. And finally, this is Jessica. Jessica had a tattoo done by Jim, but had a bad reaction to the red ink. It's unsafe to cover up her tattoo, so she is an open placement canvas, and there is no cover-up. Wow. All right, artists, you have six hours to do your tattoos. This is your last chance to prove that you deserve a spot in the live finale. Your time begins now. Let's do it, man. Ready to be awesomeized? I am ready. This final tattoo should be the icing on the cake of everything you've done throughout this competition. This tattoo is an excuseless tattoo. I'm not giving him to say. No slacking, no holding back. This is the one that takes you to the finale or sends you home. The biggest thing is going to be working with the existing piece that you have. Okay. Trying to turn that circle into a real circle. I'm going to retouch this tattoo instead of covering it up, and then tattoo landmarks from around the world as a collage around his arm. Time permitting, if Berlin works, then we'll do Central America. Is that sounds all right great. with you? It sounds great. Awesome. Yeah. I can nail every single skill in this one piece. All right, buddy, you ready? I'm here to win, and somebody else is going to go home because that spot in the finale is mine. I can already see it now. Millions of people holding signs that says, we want sausage. <laughs> that would be pretty sweet. Sausage's artwork looks generic and very clip art and cut and pasted to me. There is no way that Sausage's tattoo is going to beat my tattoo today. Five, four, three, two, one. Time is up, machine's down, no more ink. Yeah. Take a look. Wow. Oh, it is amazing. Holy dynamic. I love it. Great. Yeah, the thing's going. Completely. Maddie's cover-up just looks like a big blue blob. Sometimes he does good, and sometimes he does crap like this. It's time to get rid of him. Artists, this was your last chance to prove that you deserve to compete in the live finale for $100,000 feature in Inked Magazine and the title of Ink Master. Sausage. You reworked Melissa's tattoo. To try to do a cover-up and built in a ton of black didn't make sense. So I decided to add something that's a lot more bold and stylish to the airplane itself, and then build a sleeve that he can add on to at any time. This is actually going to be very hard for people to work off because the quality is really high. This is showing versatility. To come out here and show, I just did these big, bright flowers. Now I'm going to do this really fine line detail and really show some nice soft black and gray is top notch. This is such a unique way to put these different ideas together into one tattoo. He didn't just cookie cutter it together. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for someone to really put up a fight and do something above and beyond. And I feel like you've done it. Thank you guys very, very much. Scott. Overall, the color palette is strong, really solid, clean application. It has your signature all over it. Up close, you can definitely see the Nautical Star ghost outline through there. If this could have been moved over just a little bit to keep that out of that yellow lip, that would have been better. No matter where I moved it, it was poking out here and poking out there, so. But you know yellow's not covering. Maddie, 
Well, look at this tattoo from a distance. It has a cover-up feel just because the blue is so dark. The tattoo that's not the cover-up, I love the layout. I love how much open skin you left in it. That's what makes me harp on the blue roses being so dense even more. The same size roses, it's a bit much because everything the same size makes a mosaic look. If you stagger the sizes with bigger leaves than then maybe little buds, you can get more bang for your buck and more dynamics. Looking at this, the eye is just totally drawn to the blue spot. Halo. This canvas was completely open, brand new tattoo, yet you just did this. If I look at this tattoo as a whole and I look at the tattoo from yesterday as a whole, the one from yesterday has a better aesthetic feel, fits the body better. That tattoo is a better tattoo. If you're gonna do the same thing again, you had a lot more freedom and a lot more size on this tattoo, this one should have been better. Uh, dude, I killed myself on this one. The tattoo overall is a beautiful tattoo. The water droplets on the petals, super glossy and HD, but then you have areas in the flowers that are very flat. Those pistols, there's no outline on one side of one. The outlines don't connect, they're just kind of here and there. You didn't put in the same level of work throughout. You didn't make it as interesting as you made it before. Today, you had to prove that you have what it takes to compete in the live finale. The four of you have battled to be standing here. However, there can only be one winner. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Sausage. Nice, dude. It showed a lot of ingenuity in putting this design together and really thinking outside the box instead of just doing a big cover-up. You've earned your spot in the live finale. Wow, thank you. Congratulations, man, you deserve it. Ultimately, only three of you can move on to the live finale. The judges have decided. Maddie. You have earned your spot in the live finale. What the f oh. Congratulations. Jesus Christ. Thank you. Halo, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Halo, it was a blast watching your work, man. It's been a real pleasure for us to see the real tattooer stand up. I've said you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master about 50 times, and this is the most heart-wrenching time I've ever had to say it. Thanks, guys. Dan, welcome back. Thank you. You brought your wife, Gerald, in here. Nice to see you. Hi. So your artist was Billy Vegas. Yes. I like to get Baku on my head. Billy? Oh. Billy. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Everything that is covered by hair, I would like to be covered by tattoo. It's just too much. So maybe we could either do a side panel or the whole top. This claw has thrown me off. All right, we'll, we'll fix that real quick. That's fine. If not, you know, we can throw it here. It's not even finished. It doesn't have front teeth because you blacked them out. He wanted more of an elephant face. He also wanted to give it more tiger-like ears. I'll say that ear looks more like a Dorito chip than a tiger ear. It was supposed to be Baku, which is a traditional Japanese dream eater. Turns out it looks like roadkill with some weird tribal and a Dorito ear. There is absolutely no detail whatsoever. The actual Baku itself is just one flat shade of gray and scar tissue. I know you guys went back and forth about where you were putting the tattoo, if it was gonna be on your head. Well, the tattoo should have gone on my head, but really the design was that bad that I wasn't going to let that. So why did you let the design go anywhere if it was already bad? Because I saw his portfolio and I trusted him as an artist. I am so embarrassed anytime anyone sees me from the TV show. But then you've been on twice, if I'm twice. not mistaken. Billy tattooed me a second time. He got my kneecap. That was the star? Yes. In this flash challenge, you'll be applying one of the most popular designs to your canvas, a beveled star. Billy. Dan got his knee done, let's take a look. It's weird, it's kind of brown. So's he. I thought that somebody was messing with me when I got him for a And it was time. literally just the luck of the draw. Yes. That's how it happened. I picked it. It was my fault both times I picked <laughs> him. What were you thinking of doing? I would love to get 
my bulldog that just recently passed away, a portrait of her on my ribs. I do, from what I've seen in your portfolio, love your visual portraits, and I think you could really do a good job if you put yourself to it. It's always an honor for me when I get to do a memorial for someone. It's more stressful, of course. Just make the likeness correct. Do a good job. Okay. And her name was Zoe, if you want to add that to it. You know, fancy script. And no black tribal backgrounds. No black tribal. Or Dorito chips. This would be your third time getting tattooed by him. And the other two weren't so good. He's got a lot to prove, that's for damn sure. You really have to be super sure. I'm not dealing with another ugly tattoo on you when you come home. If I don't like it, I'll walk out. I definitely had a short fuse on season one, but a lot's changed in the past few years, and I've definitely evolved as an artist and as a person. This is my reputation on the line. This is my specialty. I do portraits for a living. I have to get redemption on this. Billy, come on in, man. Dan, Geraldine. So how did the consult go with Billy? I asked for a portrait of my dog that had passed away. Sorry to hear um, that. Thank you. You might be tattooing a guy who's unhappy with your work for the third time. Mm-hmm. Third time's a charm, hopefully. Well, Billy, you want to present what you came Absolutely. up with? Absolutely. Here's the edited photo. I did some tweaking on it just to get the colors and the values correct. I started messing with some lettering. I then drew the stencil of it where I cleaned up where there's a lot of details lost. You can see that I was able to find the teeth, find the eyes, delineate where the nostrils end and the nose begins. So as long as the drawing looks in your head what your dog looked like, then we can move forward with that. Do you guys want to talk among yourselves for a moment? Yeah, if you don't mind, Please thank do. you. Her nose, I feel like it's off. The thing that was like in my face that really was irritating me was right under her jawline. The line is just, it's wrong. I'm not too thrilled with the script. That's a lot. I don't know. Jerilyn and Dan, how was your little talk over there? Uh, saw some discrepancies in the photo. Really? In real life, her nose is so much more symmetrical. And like that line there. And the script, right? Something script, more flowing. Yeah, flowing. I have a, little... a few different options I drew. Okay. So that's something that we can swap in and out. But as for the discrepancies with the dog, I don't know her. I'm gonna need your help on that. You guys could go in there and tweak this thing. Yeah, we could work on it together. Okay. Let's work on it a little bit and you see. You wanna go to the good. shop and give it yeah, a shot together? Sure. Sounds good. It is an unusual situation because the picture is rough. The picture is super dark, so Billy did the best he could with it. I'd love to see him get a shot of redemption here because this guy has been burned twice by Billy. Is that starting to look more like her? It's in the same ballpark. OK. A little bit of a highlight right there and right there. Are you kidding me? You're going to make me render out this whole design with pencils so that you can see what it looks like? So that gives you a way better idea than what I could stencil. What do you think? I can't say, like, I love it at this point. I mean, obviously, but I do see the likeness. When you look at it, do you see her? I see the likeness, yes. As for the lettering. How about get rid of the script altogether and... Let's focus on the portrait. You know, I'll give you the chance. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Here we go. I definitely came off with a short fuse on season one. So were you surprised to see me when I walked through the door? I can't say completely because there weren't too many canvases that I had issues with like that. Dan doesn't really like to talk about that experience. I've always just had to duck my head and say, oh, well, you know, it's, it's on my leg. I can't show it. Not my proudest moment. I don't like when clients are unhappy. I'm confident that we're all going to walk away from this having a good experience. I just know that I got to make you happy because, you know, the boss matters. <laughs> Are you scared of me, Billy? <laughs> it's definitely a lot more pressure added when you have two people over your shoulder. We are finished. Awesome. <laughs> if you'd like, hop up. Boss lady's got to come, too. Is it her? It's spot on. It really is. Did a phenomenal job. Amazing. It looks more like her than the actual photograph did. Even the little reflection off of her lips down mm -hmm. there, it's perfect. Yeah, now I want him to tattoo me. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> She's a little more critical, I think. So he definitely got redemption. That dog looks exactly like the photo, if not better, and I'm proud to put my name on it. But let me ask you, you ready to shake my hand now? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Thank <laughs> you awesome. very much. Awesome. Earl, Chris, Keto, Brian, Duffy, Matt, Miami, Ryan, Marissa, you lost your head-to-head -head competitions. You must now prove that you deserve to be here.
Woo. This is your first elimination tattoo. This week, you're being judged on overall ability. Overall ability is showing that you have the bones of tattooing, solid lawn work and saturated color, and how to make it look good on the body. To survive the first elimination, you must tattoo whatever your canvas wants. Dude. But that is not all. What? Your canvases are very familiar with this competition because they have all been tattooed on past seasons of Ink Master. Wow. God damn. That sucks. That means they know exactly what they want and what they don't want. That's crazy, man. Let's bring out the canvases. Canvases. One by one, please tell us what tattoo you're looking to get and where. A realistic portrait of a demon, but it has to have my facial features. This isn't gonna win this challenge. Unless you're sharing 100 grand, I gotta make sure this is something I want. I'd like a Celtic cross incorporating firefighting equipment. It's gonna be tough, man. I'm actually pretty open. I have a library stamp that says Property of Steve. Oh, awesome. I don't know how much more this I can take. So it's finished, right? She cannot take the pain. She's kind of a plus. Canvases. Since this tattoo is all about you, you'll be choosing your artist randomly. The canvases do that? OK, artists, you will have six hours to tattoo whatever your canvas wants. If your tattoo is the worst, you will be the first artist to pack your machines. Good luck. So you've been here, done this, huh? Yeah. Was it a good experience? It was a bad experience. Tyler beat me for the first time in his career. See how my dude's doing. Good, man. I feel like about it. I can imagine that there's got to be some new egos popping up. Yeah, I mean, it's a win it. This is good and it hurts all at the same time. If you go downward, you get more of a harsher line. He's suggesting things, and I'm not always going to agree with it. You're rushing it too fast. Chill. Damn. I didn't get here by crawling. I got here on my own. I got it. We're an autopilot now. <laughs> Again? This is crazy. She's twitching, she's moving. I feel like I'm in the back of a pickup truck trying to do this tattoo right now. Bam. Stop. There is no way I'm going to let this bitch be the reason I'm going home. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. Hop up and take a look. Real nice. The chain came out real nice. Thanks, dude. You're doing a portrait, and you failed at it, man. Master that before you do it. Otherwise, you're going to fail. Today, nine of you needed to prove your overall ability tattooing your canvases with the subject and style they chose. Brian. The overall ability in this tattoo is questionable. You completely lost it on the lettering. Looking at the E, look how many wobbles and stuff there are in a line that's about that big. If you can't pull a line this big, how are you going to pull a line this big? I can do it. I can pull clean lines, and I'm confident in that. I didn't show it. Hell of a time to hold back. Chris. As far as it being a phoenix, you don't really have any real definition of feathers. It just looks like a big red parrot with a more evil head on it. We're looking for overall ability, but looking at your line work, you do have a lot of blowouts. To work with that skin was, was quite rough. Do a smaller tattoo, take your time, make it bulletproof. Duffy. This is a really cute, solid tattoo. Nice, clean line work. The black shading, creating the contrast, blending out smoothly to the color. Looks very solid. Shows your ability to do all the necessary requirements. It came out very cute. Thank you. Ryan. This tattoo would have been 100% better without any of this background. It's just clouding what this image is. From across the room, this guy's got a huge gray square on the top of his thigh. Is that showing me overall ability? It's showing me wasted time. If we just look at the nose of this tattoo, there's nothing that tells me that's a nose. You need to be in there sharp. This is not to come in and showcase what you do. It's to come in and showcase that you can do it all. Today, you had one last chance to prove your overall ability. Based on your work, one of you will be the first artist to pack your machines. All right, judges, who's going home? Obviously not Duffy. 
Chris, I understand that there were blowouts, but it is much cleaner. Clearly, we are debating the two portraits. You guys talk a lot about fundamentals, apprenticeship. Lettering is a fundamental. That's a strike against Brian. Final decision? Brian. Chris? Brian. The judges have decided, Brian, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop.